Okay, so here's the deal, man. There were some false rumors circulating that your girl Erica Mena from Love & Hip Hop New York Season 5, unfortunately, she quit the show a couple seasons ago, which is a damn shame because she was like the best thing to happen to Love & Hip Hop since it's starting. You know what I mean? She was just the freaking best. I think she came in Season 2. Was it 2, 3, 4, and 5? So 4 seasons, but she killed it. She was, you know, the light of the show. And everything went dark after she left. If, if you really think about it, the show started to go downhill. I mean, like, all of them started to go downhill once Mena left. For the record, hashtag Mena Mondays with her bad self. So, Bossa posted an article about how, first of all, people were saying, oh, well, you know, Erica supports Amber Rose's slut walk. But no, Erica Mena actually doesn't. So, that's just, those are false headlines that people were posting. Bossa posted an article titled, <laughs> No country for hoes. Erica Mena says Amber Rose's, quote, slut walk movement is nothing to be proud about. The article goes on to say, former model and reality show. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe Bossop said that. This is really cruel. I'm going to have to read it, though, verbatim. Former model and reality show bird. Erica's not a bird. Erica Mena is now firing shots at Amber Rose's feminist movement. Erica sat down with Vlad TV to discuss the definition of, quote, hoe and slut and claims those terms are never positive. I totally agree for the record. To me, a hoe is someone who doesn't value themselves, that just sells themselves short, and you can have whatever it is that they have to offer at that time at a drop of a dime, whenever, however. That's a hoe, someone who doesn't value themselves and is just quick to be with anybody and everybody. The model, who was known for dating around, now says she would never embrace being a hoe. Quote, that's not something I would embrace. If anything, I'd ignore it because it's a belittling thing. I'm not going to walk around and be like, yes, I'm a hoe. I can't fathom myself accepting that label. And I feel like that's what people want. They want us to believe that we're that. And why would you take on that label? My mother didn't name me that. So I'd call myself that? No. Erica adds, quote, I mean, I get it. I totally get it. But you're not seeing any men walking around like that. Actually, I call myself a whore all the time. Like, there are men that are whore bags. Meat Magazine is one of them. You don't see them accepting that word. Actually, I do for myself. So, I don't feel like we should either. I get the point that's trying to be proven, but you're kind of contradicting yourself if you ask me. <laughs> Erica Mena, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the full interview below, and I'm going to post the Vlad TV interview up on my blog. If you don't see it there, just remind me in the comment section and I'll hurry up and post it ASAP because I meant to post it earlier, but I forgot to. So, but here's the thing, man. Here's the deal. Oh, and for the record, before I even get into this, the interview clip is 13 minutes and 35 seconds. So it's not very long. I mean, it's Erica Mena. 13 minutes and 35 seconds with Erica Mena would go by in about 13 seconds. <laughs> about as long as I'd last in bed with her. Actually, I'd probably last more like th no split second, but that that's none of y'all business man this mean three and a half inches we get lost in all that booty and i know that's tmi too many inches but i think she can handle that i think she can handle the mean three and a half but that's none of y'all business but anyway jesus damn she looks good in that orange dress i like to peel that orange peel that orange ass but anyway jesus uh <clears throat> erica is right though like why would you want to sit around calling yourself a hoe you know even Mariah Lynn said, once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. In other words, Drea said that she's a reformed hoe. See what I'm saying? But why would somebody want to look at them, look at themselves in the mirror and say, I'm a hoe? I mean, is that really a positive image of yourself? I mean, unless it's true. Now, if you are a hoe, then you're a hoe. You know, I know Drea said that, she, that her whole past was deleted. But I tell you what, if you're hoe and got your AIDS, can you delete the AIDS? And don't tell me shit about Magic Johnson. Let's be real with ourselves here. If your wholeness can get deleted and you can once upon a time not long ago be a hoe and now you're not a hoe, then if your whorish ways led to consequences that will affect you for the rest of your life, such as catching an STD, you know, and not being able to conceive ever again or some other sort of, you know, situation that being a hoe caused. I mean, did you really delete your wholeness or did you just stop being a hoe because some shit went down you know what i mean because you got you got caught out there you got messed up <laughs> so now hoeing is probably not the uh the best thing for you to do because being a hoe got you too much trouble 
and you had to say, hold up, wait a minute. You know what I mean? <laughs> ho to the nah. Ho no. <laughs> hold on for a minute. You know, you just had to, you had to pause the hoeing because it just wasn't going too good. You know, the hoeing got going. You know, it's, it's the hoeing gets tough, the hoeing got going, basically. You know, you shut your legs because opening that door led to a lot of trouble. And that's what happens to a lot of hoes, you know. So shit to go down, you know, to catch a little STD, whatever, their vagina turned green or blue. Like, look up Blue Waffle. Just type that in on Google, Blue Waffle. Then click Images. And, you know, these girls end up with a Blue Waffle, and then they want to say, well, I'm not a hoe anymore. It's like, well, you have Blue Waffle. I guess not. But anyways, man, I don't think Erica Mena is a hoe. I, I know that she's only been with what, like, let's see, she had her child's father. She was in a committed relationship with Bow Wow. Yeah, she's only been with two men anyway, so I don't understand why anybody would call Erica Mena a hoe. She's practically a virgin. I mean, she slept with her baby's father once she got pregnant, and then she slept with Shad Moss. I mean, that, that's what I read somewhere on a blog for the record, so I'm just going by what I read, that Erica Mena slept with men, two men, one time each. She's in love with both of them. Thought it was going to lead to marriage, and unfortunately, you know, people were calling her a hoe because, from what I heard, she had sex twice. That's what I read online, and the internet never lies, right? But anyways... That's just what I read. Maybe it was inaccurate. But yeah, anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more and follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. And for the record, I would have to say that Eric Kamenis Coochie is damn near new. But that's just my, you know, personal perception about things. But I'm an Eric Kamenis fan, even though she blocked me on Twitter like three years ago. But it doesn't matter, Jesus, because I must have done something stupid. So I just have to just be blocked and, 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 and just, you know, accept that but and just move on. But anyways, yeah, I just don't like the fact that people are saying, Jesus, that, uh, that Eric Kamenis, you know, is a hoe. I mean, obviously not. You know, they're trying to say that her pussy died for our sins, and I just don't believe that. They're, they're trying to say that somebody crucified the cookie and that everybody had a bite, and I just don't believe that, Jesus. Obviously, that's a lie. Meat Magazine.